Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gonna Change. Today, we're gonna talk about dating while pregnant. Shout out to Ultimate. Um, you can check them out on Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Hey, I wanna notice something. Okay, that is there. Okay. Pregnant. Oh, unfortunately, me and baby daddy, we just haven't worked out. So I got on Hinge and I matched with a guy and eventually I had to tell him I was pregnant, obviously. I'm not going into this with him just not knowing I'm pregnant. Like, that would be weird. <laughs> so we plan dinner for tonight and here we go. I haven't gotten ready for dinner or like basically anything in like a really long time. Especially being pregnant, like things are very different now. <laughs> Trying to find something to wear is literally a constant battle of my life right now. Like things just- See, here's where my problem would be, okay? Number one. Dating somebody while they're pregnant. And we're going to hear the whole cliches of how great of a guy he is because he, he wants to date a pregnant girl. And my number one thing where I would have a problem is her putting this stuff online. Because I feel like anytime when you're a boyfriend of a TikToker or a content creator who talks about their life, is different if you're part of a content creator who draws. Okay, they're probably not going to talk about you. But if you're part of a content creator who talks about their life, those life channel vlogs, life vlog channels, you're screwed. Because if you do anything wrong, she's going to put you on blast. And if y'all break up, she's going to put you on blast. Just don't. I'm telling you, men, do not date a TikToker. Don't do it. Especially if you especially if you get somebody who talks about their relationships. I can understand dating a TikToker who doesn't make stuff about their life when they don't make stuff about their life. But if they're constantly talking about you as a boyfriend, they're putting you in pictures all day long. Guys, it's just gonna you're gonna run into destruction. Zip right, they don't look it's one it one it okay, I gotta quit pausing. But one of the things that's gonna happen is you're gonna end up even if y'all are having a bad day and y'all's relationship is struggling, guess what's gonna happen? She's going to lie. You know, she's gonna be like, Oh, our relationship's going great when it's really not, and she's disrespecting you or whatnot, and it's all going south and you you're wanting to break up and she's just gonna be online and be like, Our relationship is the best. You need to get a man like mine. And y'all and Meanwhile, y'all are fighting every single day. It's just, right. it's just too much pressure. It's just unnecessary. It can look like and a one of y'all the content creator. Y'all can't talk about each other too often. Oh, I can look like a dozen roses. It just doesn't. But every now and then, a girl just looks real good. So anyways, here is the update that everyone has been asking for. So I went into this date with zero intentions. I really wasn't sure how well it would go. If he would even look like his pictures, if he would think it was weird, if he wouldn't think that I was pretty, or, you know, like, typical. Y'all, he was so hot. <laughs> dead. Relationship's already dead. Guys, women who talk like this, like teenagers, it's just... I understand women can talk about, you know, your husband being attractive and stuff like this. But any girl who gets online and says, guys, he was so hot... You're screwed, dude. You might as well just go ahead and break up with her now. Because now what she's done is when she's talking to all her female friends online. It's, oh my gosh. It's just a matter of time before she puts you on camera. I mean, it's just it's just silly to me. I don't, I know some people love it, but I just find it silly when people talk like this. Like, I don't know if I would ever, as a grown man, a father, get on and be like, guys, and her booty was juicy. Uh, to me, I just don't talk like that. There's just a difference between me and a 20-year-old. There's a difference between me and a teenager. I just don't talk this way. I don't find it appealing. I just feel like there needs to be some separation when you become a mom. But you're, you think it's, guys, he's so hot. So? Does he slap you around? You know? <laughs> I know that's a little overboard, but it's just like, you know, that's a, it just, I, and my mind is kind of in this because I just watched a video on somebody who was, who kept talking about how great the men in her life was and how good they looked. And every one of them did her wrong because she didn't know how to deal with her past. It was a lot. It was a long video. Y'all go watch it on my, uh, my victim video, the traffic video. But when a girl starts off with man, he was so hot and she's smiling like this run. Look just like his pictures. If not better, he's tall, he's handsome, he's tatted. It's over. And he is literally the most genuine. How do you know how genuine somebody is on the first date? Do people know what the word genuine means? Hold on. Let's look this word up. Let's go to uh, dictionary with Trey. What they used to call that song. Uh, 
pull out the notepad with Blue's Clues. I forgot how the song goes, though. Let's pull out our handy-dandy dictionary, okay? Truly something is said to be. Somebody who's genu genuine is authentic or a person who is sincere. You cannot know a person sincere, genuine, or authentic if you literally never got to know them. On the first date, how do you know they're genuine? Because <laughs> if somebody's fake and you come out a couple weeks later and you're like, hey, this person was actually fake. You said they were genuine. You can't say that on the first date, girl. You don't know the person. I can literally act like anything. I could go there, pretend to be a butthole and be a complete jerk. And you, you can literally say that's me being genuine. I'm at least being authentic. What I am is a terrible person. <laughs> but at the same time, when people hear the word genuine, they think this person is nice, kind. That's not what genuine means. Genuine means to be authentic. They're being true to whoever they really are. You don't know. There's no way you can know if a person is being sincere and being who they truly are if you do not know them yet. I hate that word when the, people, the way people use it. It's just like this, that girl the other day I made the video on. Go check it out. When <laughs> guy ever. In guy, the most genuine guy you've ever met. Girl, you just had... You just got pregnant by somebody. Whatever. How did you get pregnant by somebody who wasn't genuine? That's what I want to know. That's what's driving me crazy. That's a good point. Seen this all off of the first day. That's what that's what I told you. Women do as soon as a, a, a guy decides to be a stepdad, they're just like, "Oh yeah, he's the greatest person on earth." It's like, is he though? Because other men aren't gonna look at him like that. But. But when I say that day was 10 out of 10, like, I'm speechless. <laughs> and we have a second date planned. And So we're going to move forward because they go on a couple more dates. I don't want her to feel sad. I know she feels what I feel. Like a pregnant girl. But I will say, you know, it has helped a ton having support around me. Family support. And, you know, having now, like, someone new in my life. Friends. So I think my biggest piece of advice is build your village. You know, don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm very happy to say that I'm still seeing the guy that I met 10 weeks ago. You know, life is very different now being 35 weeks pregnant. Like, I'm so big. I think right now I'm kind of at like that emotional point in my pregnancy. It's so crazy because at, and she didn't mention it. Maybe I should go back a little bit. But the very first va uh, date, they, the very first time they met, he literally went over there and built a crib. And this whole video is about dating. It's hard to date while you're pregnant. From what I saw, this was her very first date being pregnant and it immediately worked. So how is that supposed to teach anybody that dating while pregnant was hard? And the first time you dated, it immediately worked out. Even though it's only been 10 weeks, we don't know how it's going to end up going. But anyway, he ended up going to this girl's house and building her our entire crib. It's like, does it? Oh, well. But most importantly, I cannot wait to show y'all my baby. You see what I'm saying? Now she's going to show off her baby. Dude, run away. This is the son, your, son or daughter you're going to be taken care of. And she's excited to show her baby online? Dude, run away. So until this then, we're just... Put her whole life online. It's gonna just gonna you know her. keep on thriving and spending time with each other and just enjoying just this time of just him and I because it's gonna be gone very very quickly. So I hope I can just continue to give you all positive updates. Y'all later. All right, so let me go back a little bit because I want to show y'all that part about him building the crib. I'm speechless. <laughs> and we have a second date planned and also a bit unconventional, just like this whole thing. Our second date is him building my nursery furniture. Okay, there <laughs> Both of us are. The great. second date is him building the whole nursery. Oh no, baby. Oh no. He screwed. Hey man, I hope it all worked out for you. I hope she changed. But hey, I'm gonna just be honest with you, brother. I'm gonna just be honest with you. You got a hard life in front of you. Your second date, you built a nursery. You know, she said this guy was super hot. He was a 10 out of 10. But he built a nursery for you on his second date? I just, when I, I'm, I'm being honest, it's just my opinion. I hate using the word simp. 
um, I wish there was a, another word I could think of, but using the word simp is something that people can all relate to and understand. Honestly, another word would just be like a sucker. But, you know, <laughs> somebody who's uh, too infatuated, somebody who's overdoing it, but simp sends in capitalize all that so this guy and i don't mean sip like he's doing stuff for her and she's not doing stuff for him i mean sip as a you're moving way too fast brother you're building a nursery for her on a second date i mean to me it's just overboard just because she's pregnant you are not the father of this kid okay this is the second date and you're acting like you're the father by building a nursery for her like how how like explain to me guys how good could a date go how good can a date go the way on the second date, they're building your furniture. Like, I've met a lot of people in my life. I'm sure you met a lot of people in life. But what on the first date can be said that thinks, oh, I can let this person in my house to build stuff. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with them coming over, coming into my house and building furniture. Like, I don't know, man. Me personally, I just don't know if there's anything a person could say on the first date where I'm like, I could probably go over her house and build build couches and furniture for her baby. It's just like, that that sounds like a dude who's just desperate. Because I want y'all to think about this. And, let, and let's be honest. If you're a super hot dude, right? If you're super attractive, you're tall, you're handsome, you're tatted, you're everything a girl could want. Why would you go for a pregnant woman? If the way she's making him sound is like he would have girls all over him. Why would he pick a pregnant woman? Let's just be honest. Women talk a lot about how they would never date a guy who makes this much money or this much money or if he's short or if he's this. Do y'all think at the top of a man's list is pregnant woman? Especially if he is the one percenter. He's tall. He's handsome. He's hot. He's genuine, even though she doesn't know him like that. He's everything a woman could want. And he would pick a pregnant woman. Instead of picking somebody who's not pregnant, somebody he could start a family with by himself and just go pick um I, I'm, ta I'm being honest a, a little bit more of a suitable candidate can candidate he's gonna go pick a woman who had as a baby daddy who disappeared who needs help with everything he's gonna have to you know build the nursery he's gonna have to be there she's a tiktoker she puts her life online that's the best he could do do you i mean let's i mean honest women women and men do y'all think that is the top of the list? What is the best woman I can get being a 1% man, being tall, handsome and everything? And I'm going to assume he's got money because she said he has everything. Okay. Uh, he, he think at the top of the list, we think, you know what I want? I want a pregnant woman whose baby daddy left her. And also she documents all her life online. No, I think a guy would be like, I'm going to get a woman who's uh, not pregnant. A woman I could start a family with whose life is not online because I'm not online. So I just want somebody who's just going to, you know, pay attention to us. Nope. He picked the most complicated woman he could. I just I just have a hard time believing that. That's just me personally. Maybe he is hot, tall, handsome, tatted. But it's like if he's all that, then he's, he took a step down. Like, I don't see why that would be the top of the list. I think some men are. OK, so. Let me just talk about this right quick for people who would say this, that maybe he went after a pregnant woman because that's a fetish. Is that something to be proud of for her? Like if he if he's dating her because she's pregnant and he finds that as a fetish, that's gross because one or two things will happen. He's going to do everything he can in the world to get her pregnant again just because he likes to be around pregnant women. Or she can't get pregnant immediately, he's going to go to somebody else because she's no longer going to be because the whole time she's not pregnant, he's not going to be attracted to her if he finds that as a fetish. Right. Or a kink. So I don't know, man, I just don't believe what she's saying. I think this man probably looked decent. I mean, she looks OK, but her being pregnant takes her down like three or four takes her down in ranking like she could be an eight when she's when well, she's probably not an eight, but she could be a seven, six while she's not pregnant. When you get pregnant, that goes down to like a, a, a four. You know, you, you lose a lot of points when you get pregnant with somebody else's kid and the baby daddy's gone. And you're a TikToker? Mm -mm, that's like a two. That's just me, though. Man, I mean, I'm fat. I'm short. Who am I? So you don't have to listen to me. If you're tall, handsome, tatted, you're at the peak of your life, would you pick this? Let me know. Would you pick a pregnant woman? Anyway, I'm gone. Goodbye.